This tutorial is meant to help you walk through the Slave Trade Database assignment. You'll find the link to the Slave Trade Database in your instructions. I encourage you to perhaps print these out or have them on your desktop nearby so that you can refer to them as you work through the assignment. To open the database, you just click on it. Now some things that are in your instructions that I want to point out. You're probably going to want to visit this Demos tab. It will give you demonstrations on how the database actually works. Another place that you'll want to visit is the About the Project tab. Take a look at this just for a moment to get some background on how this was put together and the history behind the actual creation of this resource. What we're going to be most concerned with, though, is this tab, the Voyages Database tab. The first thing you'll need to look at is the Understanding the Database document. This is a PDF that walks you through many of the features. We're going to be most concerned with pages 11 through 19. That will tell you how you should put together a query and look for the things that you need to complete this assignment. We're going to go into, to open it, to the search, the Voyages database. And as you can see, this opens up a very large window. And here is where you're going to structure your searches. So you're going to select a time frame. There's some basic variables here. And this is where you actually create your query. All of your results will show up here in a list of voyages. The other tab you're going to be most interested in is the Summary Statistics tab, and I can show you that in just a moment. First, let's make a query. Let's walk through this, and we're going to select a time frame. Let's say we're going to look at voyages between 1660 and 1760. We'll make it pretty wide, and there are lots of different things we can choose from. Here you can see as we hover the voyage identification number, which you won't know, um, vessel name, we can look by the flag, we can look at who owned the ship, um, we can look at the outcome, we can look at the itinerary. This is one of the main ones we're going to use, this principal place of slave landing. Let's just choose that. And you can see it put it in our current query box here. So we're going to click the search box. and we can pick any one of these groups. Well, let's click on this. This will expand this further for us. And we can pick any of these in the Caribbean. Let's just see Jamaica. And we'll click OK. Now, if this is all we need, we've got the years, we've got where the slaves landed. We just click Search. And this gives us our list of results. And this will show us the identification number, the vessel name, the captain's name, the year it arrived, the principal place where the slaves were purchased, and the place of slave landing. And as we see, there are 10 results showing here out of 1,828. We can also go to the Summary Statistics tab. And this gives us some really good, uh, clear numbers without going through and adding all those things up. We see there were 1,827 voyages, a total number of slaves that embarked is 521,721. And this gives us how many actually disembarked. So we can do some math and figure out 18% mortality rate on these voyages. We can also see the average length of the Middle Passage in days, the percentage of males, children, and actually the tonnage of the vessel. So we can get some really good information just by going to that tab. That's a basic walkthrough on how to deal with this database. It takes your time. Go through it slowly. You're going to make mistakes, but I think this will really help you as you learn to navigate online resources as you continue with your education.